first of all, I'd like to explain first, of course, the metric system that we use. We usually are using the metric system rather than the imperial system, which are the, the inches, feet, pounds, ounces, and the like. So in 1795, France actually came up with uh, the system of one sort of logical system of measurement for uh, distances, weight, and volume. So the metric system is actually um, derived from water. So if we, if, if for me to explain it further, if we take, say, a cube of water with a dimension of um, one decimeter, by one decimeter, by one decimeter. So one decimeter, which is also equivalent to 0.1 meters. So I'll explain further on later on uh, what is one meter. If we have a cube with this dimension made of water, this, the weight of this would be one kilogram. And the volume of this would be considered as one liter. So this is how it's derived. So we have this basis. And if we concentrate more on the system of measurement, we would have first the meter as a starting point for, for this. Say, all right, so... In order for me to explain what is one meter, I'm going to take my measuring tape and one meter is exactly like so. Okay, so I can't fit it in the entire camera, so I'm just going to bend. So this is the measurement for one meter. So the metric system is a logical system, uh, which is uh, the units are multiples of 10. So in order for me to explain this further, okay, so I've, I've written uh, these things down. So if we're going to, the, uh, to take this meter, um, the ranges of these, these, these um, notches of measurements in, um, uh, in distances, if we take one meter, which is what I already showed you just now, um, it is equated to uh, 10 decimeters. So these are equal in value or in length so uh, one uh, meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters and one meter is uh, equivalent to 1000 millimeters and also the same way uh, with these other um, uh, items so th these are factored by 10 and if we equate this um, uh, one meter to a kilometer, it would be written as such. That would be a point a zero zero one kilometer. So because it's a thousand one thousand um, um one thousand uh one over one thousand uh in factor. So the most common of uh, um of these measuring units that we use in architecture are are these. First, the millimeter, centimeter, and kilometer. So it depends on how much uh, distances that you are in scale that you are trying to illustrate. So if we are uh, doing this, uh, we do uh, smaller items like uh, something that's handheld, like a, a doorknob, for example. Uh, centimeters is practically the same, but uh, normally, uh, it's more millimeters than centimeters, and then and then of course meter is is the most commonly used for floor plans. For example, once to one hundred or once to two hundred, any of those ranges, uh, normal ranges, would be floor plans, and the like. And then kilometers is mainly for site dev. So uh, long distances, uh, these are needed. So in between these, like uh, decimeter and decameter, for example, are, are hardly used or hectometer or, and even, even the myria meter is, is not really exactly um, used as often. 
So that's just a short uh, explanation so far where how uh, the metric system is or for distances is used for uh, in the ranges or the units that is that are involved uh, or the terminologies or the notches. For building designs, uh, scale drawing is the most practical way of doing things because um, if we are trying to draw, say, a, a 20 meter long ha uh, house by 10 meter, 20 by 20 meters, um, it's actually impractical for you to, to draw it as is, uh, once to one, for example. So we have to draw the house design uh, in the size of a paper. Okay, so an example here is when I surveyed a house, and of course, this house is pretty much big. And of course, the, the most practical way, okay, so I'm I'm holding here an A6 size paper or one-fourth area of a regular paper, which is an A4. Um, I drew the floor plan survey and section and elevation in a scale of 1 is to 200. Because if I did not do this, it will not actually fit if i'm using if i was using let's say once to 100 it would not fit the um, paper size that i was using so this is um the 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 uh, cross section of this longitudinal section should i say and this is the uh, cross section so this is drawn into scale so i even place in a scale bar so once to 200 it means that I am drawing this, this how, entire house is about 200 times bigger than this drawing. If you multiply everything by 200, that would be the actual size of the house, the, which I am illustrating here. So we can see how small the paper is. And <laughs> of course, if you're trying to draw it once to one, that would be so impractical. You will never find a paper that size, and um, it, there's no reason. The only reason why, if if you're going to create a once to one um, a drawing of anything, it would be like things like a special designing for, say, a door knob that you're trying to design. So a smaller item would be a, a more um, it's it's more practical to do with them. But sometimes even that, they use one is to two. So it's half the size of this. Uh, I mean, the, the, the paper, um, uh, the scale of the actual drawing. So now we are going to, to talk about the, um, the scaling uh, factors that you use in architecture. What is the most commonly used uh, factor? So I have listed down here the most, pretty much more, the most common thing um, that we use in drawing architecture, which are uh, usually these are um, divisible by 10 or 100 or uh, by 2 and 5s. We never use things like odd uh, num uh, uh, numerical uh, ratios like 1 is to 160 because it's quite difficult for us to, to actually try to decipher the factoring uh, when we're trying to look at it in the drawing. Um, what we use here is um, is our scale ruler usually, right? So when we're drawing um, in scale, we use a scale ruler like uh, this one particularly uh, is is has a set of different ones. So the ones to one hundred is actually uh, these markings are is symbolizes like oh, the value would be one would value be uh, value equate to one meter two meters and so on um and and of course if you try to uh, use a one to 200 the the value of course for that one meter would be smaller by uh, a factor of uh half um uh, or in in actuality so the the more you increase the factoring number which is 200 in this case the smaller the the actual um, illustrated line 
symbolizing that. No? What what we're trying to do here is to to actually um, represent the measurements in drawing value. Again, let's go back to that example. And if this is drawn 1 to 200, and this is what I use for scaling. So that's 5 uh, 1 to 200, and that is so. The, and, and the big reason why we, we always stick to these values uh, right here is that we usually would be carrying a measuring tape like so. And if um, I go back to that example again, right? And I have, uh, I didn't bring my, my scale ruler. I would use this to measure. So the value of this, like one unit, which is one centimeter here would equate to two meters so if i'm factoring in oh, what is one to 200 here so um let's just say you know you're not um you haven't memorized or you're not familiar with all of these things but how do you calculate therefore what is the uh, the distance in drawing of that line re would represent for example if i have one meter length right and i want to draw that in to a scale of one is to 200 how would i figure out to do this so <clears throat> this actually is we're going to use millimeters so that is one one thousand millimeters yeah, this is the equation uh, e equivalent of of um of one meter in millimeters but of course the, how do you factor in all of this so the value here is is one mi meters so i want to illustrate that how many millimeters of drawing line do i need to draw on paper so i would come up with this equation uh, 1 over 200, which is the ratio or the factor of uh, the scale, 1 times 1,000 millimeters. And if I am going to uh, convert this, uh, of course, it, what the equation was, would be this, 1,000 divided by 200 is equivalent to 5 millimeters. So for every 5 millimeters, that would be the measurement on paper. So I'm going to use not the scale ruler, but rather the um, measuring tape. So that would equate to, if I'm going to take the 10, I'm going to start it there. I'm going to measure 5 millimeters, and that would be my 1 meter. That would be my one meter in length. So that's the tiny thing. Okay, so if I need two meters, then I measure one centimeter or 10 millimeters. So what about one is to 100? So if I'm going for one is to 100, therefore I am going to go for, I will factor Okay, so I will factor in 1 over 100 times I want the value to be 1 meter, which is 1,000 millimeters. That Because that's the unit that I want. And this equals to 1,000 mm over 100. So I would need... If this, we cross these things out, and it would equate to 10 mm, which is equivalent to 1 centimeters. Okay? So that means I would, therefore, draw 10 millimeters or 1 centimeter on paper. Just to show you also, if that's true... I will get that one is to 100 
one value against against one one centimeter or ten millimeters here. So that would be equivalent to the value here of one centimeter. So that's the equi the equivalent. So one meter is one centimeter or ten millimeters. It's exact. So all you have to remember if you are lost is that to use the centimeter value in your measuring tape to that would equate to one is to one hundred. So when we are trying to draw it in 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 scale now here. I I illustrated this. So when I illustrated this, I was I was giving a value of in in meters rather than millimeters because I would not have the space to draw in the couple of numbers. For example, of course, five meters is written as such. Uh, five m would symbolize five millimeters. But then if it's in um say um millimeters, that would be Five thousand, and then followed by mm. So it's it kind of takes up a lot of space when you're trying to draw it or in or letter it in, and and it's it's a big um, hindrance. If I put dimensions here, there's there'll be a lot of zeros. So to, to simplify, I'm using meters. To do it and this is rough uh, uh, quite a rough uh drawing or survey of this um of this house so i was doing it that way but in no way that they are there's a big difference uh between these are equal actually the value of five meters is five thousand millimeters so if you're trying to draw a floor plan for example uh it'd be good to if you're drawing to scale, um, if you're drawing scale like ones to 100, ones to 200, um, and then you're giving it dimension, and if you're doing it in in manual, it would be practical for you to actually <clears throat> just write the value in meters. Now you can do that also in 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 AutoCAD, but in AutoCAD, uh, if especially if you're going for a construction drawings, millimeters is the the most um, uh, practical thing that you can do because of uh, being more precise. If you have already worked out all the floor plans and uh, you are into the construction phase, uh, documentation, and therefore uh, millimeters is uh, uh, practically all across the board because uh, in all drawings, because um, if we take a look again at the uh, the dimensions that we I mentioned, I mean the the units that we're using. So millimeters is more precise for for things that are already that you are very sure and the constru like in construction drawings. Meters is more general. It's still acceptable, of course, in in floor plans or in any technical drawing. Uh, but, but it's it's still the same. So. And then, of course, kilometer is, is for site uh, distances. If you're illustrating a site development plan, that would be something. But these are two items, uh, the two units that uh, we mostly use would be meters and millimeters. I hope that there's some clarification in this uh, for um, this video in explaining oh, what is the metric system, what is scaling, and how do you factor in or how do you calculate it if you don't memorize it, if you're not familiar with the uh, scaling factors and uh, what units to use when you're drawing architecture. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching.